ओके सो हेलो एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन अवर टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द करंट अफेयर इशू गिवेन इन द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर एंड दिस इज रिलेटेड विद द डिफेंस दिस बाबर मिसाइल दिस बाबर मिसाइल द वे अग्नि बिलोंग्स टू इंडिया इन द सेम वे दिस बाबर बिलोंग्स टू पाकिस्तान ऑन थर्सडे पाकिस्तान हैज सक्सेसफुली टेस्ट फायर्ड this babar cruise missile it's a cruise missile and what are the, what is this cruise missile i will discuss it and it is a nuclear capable missile nuclear capable missile means it can carry the nuclear weapons within it as far as the dividation of uh, the missiles are concerned we can bifurcate missiles in two ways the missiles all the missiles can be divided in two ways the first based upon the range and the second is based upon the path based upon the range and based upon the path as far as the range is concerned we further can divide on the basis of the range in two ways the tactical missile and the strategic missile the tactical and the strategic tactical missiles are those missiles those range is very very short and they don't have the capability to carry the nuclear material within it that is one of the reason sometimes we call these tactical missiles the battlefield missile battlefield missile you know battlefield a field where we fight the war we fight the battle so the battlefield cannot be in 100 or 200 or 300 km in its territory if if you don't take the exceptions like if your battle is not going on in the uh, sahara where there is no any kind of sahara but its name is sahara i don't know why okay so generally just take the example of kurukshetra what can be the length and width of this okay only 5 6 or 10 or whatsoever but i think it cannot go beyond 10 or 15 km so these are the battlefield missile means uh, which are being used in the battles where the fight is is going on so these are very you know they don't have the capability of nuclear capability now the second is the strategic missile strategic missiles have the capability to carry the nuclear weapons but the range is not quite high the way the range is you know the enjoy these missiles so this was on the basis of the uh, range means the tactical and the strategic the strategic has the nuclear capability to carry the nuclear weapons within it but the most significant is the missile those are based upon the path and what is the path the path means actually what is the path which is being covered by this missile when they are going to hit the target or before hitting the target what actually the path is the way a snake runs like you know in in in, in this way an elephant runs always in his, in a straight okay if if a snake is catching you so don't you, you always run in the straight line not in the you know to and fro direction and if the elephant is catching you then try to run in to and fro direction because the the kind of weight elephant carries it becomes very difficult for him to go in this way and in that way okay it, it's a very uh, saying in rural areas especially so the path the on the basis of the path missile further can be divided in two ways the first is called the ballistic missile and the second is known as the cruise missile this cruise missile belongs to the baba and this has the capability to carry the nuclear weapon so what are actually these ballistic missile ballistic is word it does mean that something like this parabolic in nature so when you are the missile 
is ballistic in nature it does mean it would hit the target but it would follow the path like this it would not go direct and hit the target no it would go like this take the example of agni 4th agni 4th is a ballistic missile and its range is 4000 km and it always takes covers this kind of path the maximum altitude of the agni 4th is 900 km 900 this is the altitude so this is the called the, the ballistic missile agni 4th in the same way this cruise missile is also there but what is the problem in this ballistic missile since it covers a lots of height the altitude is 900 km so there is enough possibility that it can be scanned by the foreign nations radar it can be captured by the radars of the foreign nations since it covers a lots of height so that's why the cruise missile becomes very significant one brahmos you know the Uh, partnership of india and russia is a very fine example of this cruise missile so cruise missile as you have understood that the path taken by the cruise missile when it is about to hit the target you know it just goes in this way not very it does not uh, uh, have the very height from the earth surface and when it does not have the very high from the earth surface it does mean that it cannot be scanned or it cannot be captured by the radars easily and this is a very fundamental quality which is involved in the cruise missile yes one thing is there that let's say this is the target okay and this is the cruise missile as i have told you that uh, the height taken by this cruise missile is not very high its altitude is not as it is in the case of you know this 900 km so since the height from the ground level is very very low so it becomes absolutely impossible for the foreign nations to capture to scan from their radar okay and let's say this is the target so what would happen in the case of cruise missile it would come in the straight way but before hitting the target it would go like this it attain a height but not the entire distance is not covered by the cruise missile in this way it means you know that the, the uh, okay, you can say means 90% distance covered by the cruise missile is very low from the earth surface but before hitting the target it goes it takes a lots of altitude since it it gets a kind of momentum it's kind of energy a force to hit the target okay so this is the uh, special qualities involved with this cruise missile and the ballistic as far as india is concerned the agni and the cruise missile is concerned and the brahmos and uh, this uh, babar missile is a cruise missile and it has the capability to carry the nuclear weapon its range is 450 km it does mean that it can cover a major portion of india as well as major portion of china but it is not going to hit <laughs> china because the kind of relationship nowadays india and pakistan is why i don't think it is you know expected so this was from my side as far as the babar cruise missile nuclear capable missile was concerned thank you thank you very much